Now that we understand what rapport is, let us explore the different ways to establish rapport. Starting with basics. Be relaxed and smile. Remember people's names. Listen carefully and attentively. Use small talk to find something that you both share. Identifying a common ground can be very useful for establishing rapport. Remember, most people like talking about themselves and the more genuine interest you show in them, the more likely they are to relax and open up. Use open-ended questions to discover personal information. Perhaps you attended the same school, grew up in the same city, watch the same shows, share the same hobbies, play the same sport or support the same team. Even just expressing your shared frustration at the traffic can help you draw closer to someone. Another thing to keep in mind while developing rapport is empathy. Empathy can be defined as the ability to see the other person's world through their point of view. This is literally a part of the definition we looked at in the previous video. In the previous video, we had also touched upon the idea of matching and mirroring for establishing rapport. So what is matching and mirroring? Matching and mirroring in NLP is the actual process that we use to establish and maintain rapport by being like someone in terms of their physiology. To understand what matching and mirroring is, let's imagine that you are sitting right in front of me and you lift your left hand in the air. If I then lift my left hand in a similar manner to yours, that becomes matching. On the other hand, if I lift my right hand, which creates an impression as if I am your reflection in the mirror, that is mirror. Now obviously, hand movement is just one example of matching and mirroring. There are many other aspects of our behaviors that we can use for the same purpose. But before we look at the different ways of matching and mirroring, let us just answer one question that can come in our way of practicing these skills. This question is, isn't this like copying someone? What if I get caught? Wouldn't I look silly doing this? Well, all right, that is more than one question. Let us answer these questions one by one. First, matching and mirroring is not like copying someone, at least not every move that the other person makes. Because if you do so, there are very high chances that the other person will notice and that you will look silly doing it. So when you are using matching and mirroring, you need to do it in more subtle ways with things that people generally don't pay conscious attention to. Let us go back to the previous video. Remember I said that you can begin by observing people at hangouts, restaurants who have already established rapport with each other. If you haven't done this yet, I would suggest do it whenever you get a chance ASAP. You will notice that these people seem to behave in synchronization with each other. They will sit in similar positions and have similar kind of behavior. But does it look like they are copying each other? No, not really, right? So remember rapport is not some new technique that we are learning here for the first time. The state of rapport is something that occurs quite naturally on a regular basis during our communication without any conscious effort on our part. What we are seeking to learn here is how to actively and rapidly create a state of rapport with another individual whenever we choose. So matching and mirroring is not about copying someone but to behave in ways that creates a sense of being in sync with each other. You can pick behaviors like specific gestures, pace of talking, volume, breathing pattern that people generally don't focus on consciously for matching and mirroring. I will walk you through a list of things that are really useful and effective to begin with in the next video. When you use these subtle behaviors, there is little to no chance that the other person will realize what you are doing. You may initially find what you are doing a little silly because you know what you are doing. But the other person wouldn't even realize this consciously. Within a short period of time, you would actually enjoy doing this or you may start by noticing how people when in rapport anyways are matching and mirroring each other unconsciously. 